Beware of the Ides of March. Who this is? I'll tell you more about this day in a minute. Here's why we beware of the Ides of March. Um, March 15th, 1991. Paul was apparently a pedestrian when two cars collided on the street. One car, one careening out of control and striking the patient, witnessed, stated that the patient was apparently unconscious at the scene for a brief period. <laughs> well, you wonder, eh? When the ambulance arrived, he was found to be semi-conscious but not oriented. <laughs> patient about to emerge. Glasgow Coma Scale 15. So the funny thing about this Ides of March thing is that, uh, well, it changed my life forever that day. And my poor buddy Steve, he was driving the cab, and it wasn't his fault. I mean, he was just trying to go through an intersection. Guy runs into him, and then he spins out and hits me. It's not his fault. Poor guy. But then there was seven years of fun with no phone insurance. <laughs> so, I'm going to have a coffee and maybe stay home all day. So today's weather is rain, thunderstorms, and uh, wacky March weather. Look at this. And it's 8 degrees today at 12 o'clock. A little bit of rain, thunderstorm went through. I think that's what was over in Winnipeg yesterday. We had last night, this morning. 7.8 right now. Today, showers with risk of severe thunderstorms. Wow. Well, and there Ooh, it's pretty dark up there. Like it's clearing up. Thunderstorms moved on. <laughs> nice day. Oh, it's this side. That side, not so nice. This side, looking good. Wow, what a cool looking sky. Wow. Lady pulls through the parking lot, brushed the side of me with her car. You got the whole parking lot. Why try to hit me? I can't believe that lady hit me with her car. That's just too weird. I mean, you gotta be doing more than 60 or 70 clicks to hurt me, but still. I can't even go out to the store next door without the Ides of March sneaking up and smacking me. <sighs> Please be careful out there today. And so as the coffee gurgles its last gurgle, it's turnover time. I'm celebrating. I'm still alive. I'm gonna have some turnovers. Ah, turnovers for breakfast. And how are they looking? Ooh, they're looking like they're pretty much done. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're going to be good. Okay, so get this. The package I sent February 6th by air got there today because they sent it Surface. Now, Surface is about six, seven dollars. I sent, you know, air, which is about 20 bucks. I think they owe me. So do I dare risk going outside again? I know it's only next door, but look what happened earlier. My hip's still a little sore. So, we'll just see. I don't know. Maybe we'll go. Risk it for a biscuit. Well, so far so good. That's where she hit me right there. And, uh... 
Well, she says she's just a postal outlet. There's nothing she can do. I got a phone, the 1-800 number. Yay! Talk about waiting on the phone. Great. At least it's 1-800. Won't cost my cell phone. And hopefully here comes tonight's fireworks. Just to the west of us over here. And on this radar system, we got some tornado warnings. A couple tornado warnings, which are heading this way. So, severe thunderstorm, watch in effect. Well, we'll have to watch later. Starts like that. Sucks up all that moisture from the lakes. It's going to dump on us. Okay, we got early warning storm chasers on the scene. Woo, lightning strike. That was cool. Well, as this storm gets a little closer, I'm gonna upload my vlog and edit while we wait for it to uh, happen, and maybe I'll add the video of the storm later. Ciao. Work the machine.